how everybody was good what it do what it is i am back with these vids so what we're about to get into today and it is literally 3 a.m in the morning like i shit you not 3 a.m in the morning and i woke up and i'm not gonna lie i was over here playing some dragon's dogma too and i was like wait i need to pull myself away from this because like it's been busy for your boy lately so like any free time i'm just trying to like enjoy Johnny 
Smith. I like that. He has some speed to him for a tight end, so I like that. Let's see. Resigned Isaiah Wynn. Okay, I like that. Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett, I like that. I like Shaq Barrett. Okay. Let's see. That's about it. Wait, did Jordan Boyer come back? Is Jordan Boyer back? With the last I heard, they let him go. Last I heard, they let him back. Let me see. Oh no, Bills. That's right. That's right. Jordan Boyer was on the Bills. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. That's one of the ones that he got let go of and went to the division, which is, there's a lot of that going on, and I kind of like it. I kind of like it back season, I'm not going to lie. But, okay, yeah, Jordan Boyer, I like that signing for them. I like that. That brings some toughness to that defense. I like that a lot. And that brings some, some people who can play in cold weather to that defense because they absolutely need that as well. That is needed. So, okay, I like Kendall Fuller. I like that a lot. I like that because that's going alongside because they lost Saving Howard. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, they lost Saving Howard. So Kendall Fuller to plug right in along with Jalen Ramsey. I like that. Um, the only thing I don't like is that the Dolphins just like what was that? What was that in Kansas City? What was it? <laughs> what was it anyway? Going to the Patriots. I like Jacoby Brissett. I'm just saying that right now. I like it. I'm not screaming that I like it, but I'm saying he's been there before. He hasn't played under Gerard Mayo, but he has been there before. So, like, he is at least familiar with the team or people in the building. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. Antonio Gibson. I like Cole, but, like, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Hunter Henry resigned. That's cool. Austin Hooper. So you got two tight ends that can ball out. I like that. Let's see. I'm not really seeing a lot of like. I'm not seeing a lot like. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot from the Patriots right now. Maybe they'll like do something in the draft. I'm interested to see what they do in the draft and what Gerard Mayo does with his first year. But I'm not seeing anything that's like blowing my mind right now. Kendrick Bourne is cool, but like, you know what I mean? KJ Osborne is like a career backup receiver. You know, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not seeing anything that's blowing my mind right now. The Patriots, correct me if I'm wrong, though, because. I love to be wrong. That's how you learn. So, um, the Jets, Tyrod Taylor, who I think is better than a lot of people give him credit for. Every time Tyler, Tyrod Taylor has had a chance to start, he has balled the fuck out. It's just, it's that simple. It is literally that simple. So, that is just what it is. Like, that being said, if there's a situation where Aaron Rodgers just can't go, then I fully believe that Tyrod Taylor can handle that. To be clear, I don't mean handle that as in like he's going to take the Jets to the Super Bowl. I just mean he's not Zach Wilson. Like he's not going to be battling with Zach Wilson for who's going to start. Like that's not going to happen. Um, Mike Williams, I really like that. If he can stay healthy, healthy, you're getting Aaron Rodgers, another big target. You have Alan Lazard. You have Mike Williams. And then you have somebody like Garrett Wilson who can work through the defense. Like, that is, y'all, like, you're not missing anything. You have Brees Hall as your running back. You're not missing anything on that team at all. But let's keep going through there. Let's see who else they have. Morgan Moses. That's cool. That's cool. That'll hold that down. Tyron Smith is huge. Huge Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses. I really like that. Javon Kinlaw as well. I like that. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. I do. I like Thomas Morstead. Homer for me being a Saints fan, but I like Thomas Morstead a lot. He's very fucking talented. Um, let's see. Ravens. What are we doing? Derrick Henry. Obviously, like, that's the number. Everybody was screaming in my face that Derrick Henry was going to the Cowboys. And I'm like, yo, the Ravens let all these running backs, Saquon Barkley, Derrick Henry, uh, Josh Jacobs, nobody counts Austin Eckler, whatever, uh, Joe Mixon. Like, if the Ravens let all of these running backs go, there's, like, no way. That's the only thing I kept thinking to myself is, like, I understand J.K. Dobbins, but it's like, bro, you've been injured. Like, you have been injured, injured. And, like, I firmly believe the only thing that's stopping the Ravens, they run the ball well, but they have never had a, uh, and, like, you'd have to go back to, like, Ray Rice, probably, like, Gus Edwards is cool, shout 
out to him, but he's really banging it in from the goal line. Like, he's not, I'm not saying Gus Edwards isn't a good back either, so let me not, like, shit on him. I'm just saying, like, they needed a back that you could just, Lamar could just go here, and that back isn't going to get you five yards regardless of anything, especially with how Lamar has matured as a player and a passer. Now you have to respect both of his games and Derrick Henry. So I think that's going to be a, a lot for people to have to deal with. I would like to see the Ravens grab a fucking receiver, though. Please, God, get a receiver. Like a nice, good, big body Ooh, receiver, please. So, because now it's not lower. No. Let's see, though. I like the re-signing of Justin Matabuke. I really do. I like that. And I, I think they lost some people, though. I'm pretty sure they lost, like, was it Geno Stone, Patrick Queen? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Not a fan of that. Not a fan. <laughs> Not a fan, but let's keep moving. The Bengals. D. Higgins still wants a trade. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So if that has changed from where I'm at right now, then I apologize, but the last thing I heard was that D. Higgins was looking for a trade after getting that franchise tag, so we'll see how that moves and shakes out. Let's see, and other than that, I'm not really, Trent Brown's nice for Joe Burrow, I like Von Bell, Geno Stone, yeah, okay, so Geno Stone's staying in the division, but he's tough. He's tough, so I like that for the Browns. Von Bell and Geno Stone back there is tough. I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh, let's get to the Browns. Jameis Winston, baby. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get right past Tyler Huntley. But they have the Cleveland Browns have three quarterbacks that play pretty much the same or could play the same. Jameis Winston being probably the wild card. But I think Tyler Huntley and Deshaun Watson make a lot of sense. And then why wouldn't you want Jameis in your QB room? He probably doesn't have a chance at starting. I mean, if Deshaun goes down, but, like, realistically, he's probably the third best quarterback on that team because Tyler Huntley can ball. Like, can we be honest about that? He can ball every time he's been asked to. He's not. And I don't mean ball as in he's a killer. I mean ball as in, like, they were a play away from beating Cincinnati in the playoffs. last, Not this past year, but last year. Like, come on. Let's see. Deontay Foreman and Naeem Hines, they're really not playing around, so they're, like, they still have Nick Chubb, but they're really not playing around running backs. They are making sure that their room is ready, even though I liked Jerome Ford. I really did. Jerry Judy, I really like that. I really like that on their team, aside from Mari Cooper. Oh, that's going to be good to watch. That's going to be good to watch. James Prochet, to what I know, he's just a speeder. I don't know much else about him. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, re-signing Zedaria Smith, really like that. Devin Bush, I really like the Devin Bush signing. I like Devin Bush. I don't care what him and, uh, who's buddy on the Eagles now. That everybody hates on Devin Bush. I think it's another Devin. Um, uh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it when we get there. But, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, Jordan Hicks signing with the Browns. Okay. Like, a little older, but, like, he knows how to play. Tony Brown, good man corner. Like, okay. I like the Browns moves. I really do like the Browns moves. If they come together as a team, we're going to see. We're going to see. And I just brush my teeth, so before my lips get any more chat, I just got to, you know, get no. So, let's get into the Steelers. Perfect. Look, Justin Fields. Man, man, oh man, Justin Fields. I think the Steelers made the best moves. Second best moves. I think the Eagles made the best moves, but they make the best moves every fucking season. Like, Howie Roseman is exactly how everybody wants their GM to be. Like, go spend that fucking money. Like, what are we doing here? Are we winning or are we losing? Like, you tell me. So, other than the Eagles, I think the Steelers have had the best offseason so far. So, understand that they just got Russell Wilson and Justin Fields for essentially nothing. Like, come on now. These two quarterbacks, which probably under under regular circumstances would have the sign for like, if Russell Wilson wasn't already being paid, that whatever it is by the Broncos, he was probably signing for no less than 30 million somewhere. Or high 20s for one year or something like that. Like, 
like that's what he was going to be signing for, Justin Fields, you're going to have to pay him at some point. Because I don't care what nobody says. If he pulls out his tape and his stats, he is not as bad as everybody would make it seem. So, to get both of these two for nothing and still being able to retool your team with getting a Deshaun Elliott and a Patrick Queen, like that's fucking insane to me. That is insane what they are doing. So, I truly, truly believe that um, I think Russell Wilson's going to be good with the Steelers. I really do. But I think if he's not that backup plan in Justin Fields, like, if you're a Steelers fan, you have to be hyped just about the talent in the quarterback room. You have two very capable people in your quarterback room, unlike a lot of teams. And let's keep that moving. Let's just keep it moving. Let's get on to the AFC South, which the Texans, I love what they are doing as well. As you see on the longest list so far, they are getting fucking busy. So... Joe Mixon, I like this. This gives them more of a run game. And Joe Mixon had a down year last year, but I mean, Joe Burrow was out. So, stack the box. What are we doing here? So, <laughs> Noah Brown re-signing is huge because every receiver on their team, I just feel like, is a big play threat. Every single receiver, Nico Collins, Tank Dell, and Noah Brown. Just, like, I'm being dead serious. Dalton Shorts as well. Just big play threats. It just feels like in blankets everywhere. Mario Edwards, I like signing. I love Daniel Hunter signing with the team. I love that so much. To go with Will Anderson, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? Like, come on now. Let's keep it moving. We got CJ Henderson. They got CJ Henderson. They got CJ Henderson, Jeff Okuda, and Desmond King, and Leo. Hold on. I didn't know all this. I didn't know all this. <laughs> Okay, now, I like corners, I do, like for some reason I like cornerbacks, I feel like that's the second hardest position outside quarterback to play, because you have to guess where the most talented, fastest, toughest athletes are going to be shifting their body in a moment's notice, so, these, these signings right here, Desmond King was already there, cool, Jeff Okuda, I really like that, Young still has a lot to prove, he's young, he still has a lot to prove, but he can man up, and I like CJ Henderson, who can also man up, I believe he was previously drafted to the Jags, so two young corners that have a lot to prove, alright, that's two young corners that can man up and have a lot to prove, and I feel like the Texans, and correct me again, if I'm wrong about anything, but I feel like the Texans already have a corner that's pretty good, so like, they just got a lot of depth at the cornerback position, like, they, so, man, I really, I really like CJ Anderson and Jeff Okuda, right? because we're talking about two young guys, two fast guys who can keep up with whoever, and they can play, man, they just, like, there's just certain things about their game that they had to fix, and they will be like that, so, Anyway, I really like what the Texans are doing. I didn't know they did all that. So, if the Steelers didn't get those two quarterbacks for that price, I would say the Texans are in second place right now, in my opinion. Let's get to the Colts. Joe Flacco, I think that makes, I guess it makes sense. I don't know. I wouldn't put Joe Flacco behind Anthony Richardson, but that's only because I like to keep my quarterback rooms kind of the same. You know what I would put I mean, I'm, I'm going to cause arguments. Let me not cause arguments. Fuck it. I would put Cam Newton behind Anthony Richardson, but I would have to make it like, I would tell Cam Newton straight up, like, yo, sure, you can hope for a chance at being a starter if Anthony gets hurt, but you are here to show him, the, like, to help him learn from the mistakes that you made because they are prototypically, in my eyes, the same quarterback. So I would let Cam know, hey, we need you to guide this guy. We need you to take him to the promised land. That's it. Like, you don't don't come in here thinking you're going to start. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Cam Newton because I love Cam Newton. But that's how I would have the conversation with him if I was the GM or the coach. Like, hey, we're bringing you in to show him how to be, like, how to, how to build off of what you gave the prototype to. That's as respectful as I could say it. So... Let's keep it moving, though. Michael Pittman coming back to the Colts. That's big. Raekwon Davis, okay. Okay. Zaire Franklin staying longer, okay. They basically kept their people. It looks like they kept their people, and they have a lot of good people. So let's run it back, see what Anthony Richardson can do with Joe Flacco.
go behind them. <laughs> the Jaguars got Mac Jones. Um, okay, <laughs> not even worth talking about. Gabe Davis signing, though. I like that. I really do like Gabe Davis signing with the Jags. But he's like, I want to see what he can do. Because it felt like on the Bills, he was like touchdown or bust. Like, I had him on my fantasy team for a few years. It was touchdown or bust every single damn time. So, <laughs> let's see what he does with a different team and a different quarterback. And let's see what kind of position he plays, like where he's going to be at on that team. Because who knows if Calvin Ridley's coming back. So, let's see. Devin DuVernay, though, to the Jags. I like that. I like Devin DuVernay a lot. Ezra Cleveland, okay. Mitch Morris, like that. Getting some protection for, oh, almost called him Joe Burrow. Almost called him Joe Burrow. Almost called him Joe Burrow. Oh, Trevor Lawrence, Jesus. Okay. Josh Allen, okay, got tagged, all right, Eric Armstead, Eric Armstead, wow, wow, I didn't know that, okay, that's a good, I like that, okay, Jags not too, too much, but not just sitting on their hands either, Titans, Mason Rudolph, okay, oh, Calvin Ridley went to the Titans, I did not know that, wow, for almost 100 million, Almost a hundred million. Hold on. Hold on. Uh uh. No. What were his stats like last year or last season? He had. Okay, he had a thousand yards. Okay. Eight touchdowns. Oh, okay, hundred million it is. Sure. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tony Pollard, three years, $24 million. I don't see it in Tony Pollard, but God bless them. I like LeJaria Sneed. I like getting them or getting him from the Chiefs. I do like that. And Jadobia Ouzier. I like both of those signings. Their corners are going to be great. So it's all Will Levis, bro. It's on you. And let's Calvin Ridley and uh, DeAndre Hopkins. We can still make plays. Okay, we'll see. We'll <laughs> My apologies. We'll see. We will see what happens with. I think it all comes down to their quarterback. Is Will Levis going to be that guy or not? Because it's not going to be Mason Rudolph. But ew, two point eight million. You oh, anyway. <laughs> Broncos. Let's see. Not really doing too too much. Um, yeah, not really doing too too much. It's really like the. It's the Saints. Sean Payton literally just keeps all of his players that he used to play with on the Saints or have on the Saints. Malcolm Roach, Adam Troutman, Lil Jordan Humphrey, <laughs> Michael Burton, uh, let's see, Will Lutz, like he just, it, we'll see how they work out. And then we get to the Chiefs, Marquise Brown. Look, this is one that got me. Like, I didn't think of this at all. I thought the Chiefs would get a receiver. I didn't know who they would get, but they essentially got Tyreek Hill back for $11 million. Just come, like, I'm not saying either that Marquise Brown is as talented as Tyreek Hill. I'm just saying that it's extremely possible that Andy Reid figures out how to use him like he used Marquise Hill. Or, sorry, Tyreek Hill. So, I really like that signing. I did not see that one coming, and I feel like it was an obvious signing. I did not see it coming. Um, I like Irv Smith as well. I do. Just another, like, just a backup, reliable backup, but then they have the one dude already backing up uh, Travis Kelsey, who was pretty all right. I think his number was, like, 84 or something. He could, like, Chris Jones coming back. Love that. Love that. Let's go. Pay the man. Pay the man. Pay that man. Dion Bush. Deion Bush was already on the, uh, he was already on the Chiefs because it was so, it's tremendous. I did not know that at all. <laughs> at all. That's amazing. I did not know that. Wow. Matt Arisa, look, not touching that subject. Let's just see how he plays. Not touching that subject. Uh, not touching that one. Las Vegas, Radar, let's see. I like the Gardner Minshew signing in Las Vegas. I'm cool with that. Amir Abdullah is doing the league. Shout out to him. They got two running. Like, no, I don't like that. Don't let go of Josh Jacobs and get Amir Abdullah and goddamn Alexander Madison. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, not really liking this at all. Like, sure, you get, to, you get to get Christian Wilkins to put with Max Crosby.
Crosby. I love that. So that's fine, but Chargers, Easton Stick. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're cool with that. Let's see. Not a lot going on for the Chargers right now. Not a lot. Not a lot at all going on for the Chargers. I like Aiden Hurst. That's cool, but like, what are we doing? What are we. Okay. NFC East. Let's get to the Cowboys who have done absolutely nothing, so we're going to keep going. Not interested in Eric Kendricks. I do like Jordan Lewis, though. Again, I am a cornerback buff, and I do like Jordan Lewis. It's just so hard to grade cornerbacks because you really can't go off of their stats. Like, because a lot of them don't get thrown at like that if you're really like that. The Giants. Drew Locke. Shit. Shit, it's better than Daniel Jones. Alright, it's not better than da Maybe it's better than Daniel Jones. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Giants fans, y'all tell me. Oh, <laughs> Devin Singletary, sure, whatever. I say him against y'all already. Yeah, not really. I, the only thing I like is, is Brian Burns. And I love that, actually. Because Brian Burns, along with Dexter Lawrence, along with, uh, oh my god, I'm forgetting his name. Kayvon Thibodeau, I'm pretty sure his name is, but like three on this like god i like that a lot but that offense needs jesus speaking of jesus let's get in allie roseman and everything that god damn let's get into his shopping cart i like will greer being there so you have jalen hurts will greer kenny pickett i love young quarterback rooms that have time to grow and jalen's kind of a veteran at this point like super bowl appearance multiple good seasons or a couple good seasons in his and when i say good the eagles were good last year they just had a meltdown at the end but they were still record wise and stat wise good that's all i'm saying they weren't amazing as last year when or the year when they went to the super bowl but they were good so anyway kenny pickett i like that a lot i like that that trade just because you get a young anytime you can get a young quarterback for cheap do it why not do it Saquon Barkley, love that signing a lot because now you have a running back who can immediately take pressure off of Jalen every single down, just like what I said with Lamar. Um, Devontae Parker, I love that big physical receiver, always has been Paris Campbell, quickie, like, shouldn't say quickie like that, <laughs> pause, 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 Albert O, because I'm not doing that, not doing old quickie, no, I apologize, my good sir. But that's another quick tight end. I really like him as well. Very fast, can move his feet. Love it. Resigning Brandon Graham, sign Bryce Huff, but they're losing Sweat, I believe, right? They're losing Sweat or uh, Hassan Reddick, right? One of them, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, got a guard in Landon Diggers, and I like that. They grabbed, the Eagles love grabbing our players. So they got Zach Bond from us, and cool. He's cool. He's a, he is good. We just never knew how to use him. They got C.J. Gardner Johnson back, which is insane. Devin White is the other linebacker. I think he was from Tampa, who I was talking about. And I love Devin White. Like there are a lot of people who think he's a scrub now. And fair, I've seen some highlights or some lowlights. You'll probably call him, but if you don't like him, fine. But I think he is talented and fast, and speed is king in the NFL. I feel these days. So getting Jake Elliott back is great the eagles did everything they needed to do i don't see how they don't compete for a championship again i don't i don't see how they don't all right the, <laughs> the commanders did a lot but man oh man i'm not i'm not impressed too too much so let's get to it marcus Mariota, not exciting but his agent got the bag for him um Austin Eckler, not excited. Jamison Crowder, that's good. Zach Ertz, that's solid. Tyler Pediazzi, that is good. Cleveland Farrell is... Cleveland Farrell, I like Jeremy Chin. I do, he's fast, it's hard. Bobby Wagner, probably just getting the bag at this point. Probably just getting the bag at this point. Uh, Frankie Louvu, cool, like that. And that's about it. Let's keep it going. Not like the Bears. Let's see. Let Justin Fields go. But they're getting Caleb Williams. So Keenan Allen to pair with Caleb Williams. DeAndre Swift, who's not amazing. But I'm pretty sure Khalil Herbert is already still over there. So 
you got a solid running back room. It's not amazing, but DeAndre Swift isn't a bum either, so let me not talk about him disrespectfully. Um, let's see. We got some whole line help for Caleb Williams, which is important. They should probably get some more in the draft, though. Gerald Everett, I like that. Tight end who can be a security blanket. And Jalen Johnson, I like that as well. I like that signing. Kevin Byard, eh, he has some stuff to prove after last season. Simone Biles' husband, and say, no, let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. I like what the Bears have done, but we'll see what Caleb Williams is. That's what it comes down to. Let's be real. With the Lions, let's see. Donovan Peoples-Jones, okay. Okay, I like it. Marcus Davenport, oh, God. Saints fans are going to hate me, but I don't hate Marcus Davenport, I actually pretty much, like, I like Marcus Davenport, I'm going for real. Um, DJ Reader, cool, like that. Carlton Davis, like that a lot. Like that a lot. Michael Badgley, getting him back, cool, and that's about it. So, Lions not, they're keeping, I like when teams keep their players, or get some new talent. Some teams do neither, I'm sure we're coming up on that. AJ Dillon, re-signed at the Packers, but they lost. Aaron Jones, I'm pretty sure. So, not, not looking good for them. But, we'll see. We'll see. Xavier McKinney, I like that. Let's see. And that's about really it for them. <laughs> oh, they got Josh Jacobs. That's right, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. They got Josh Jacobs. I'm tripping. So, they lost, they lost Aaron Jones, but got Josh Jacobs. And that's what I didn't understand. Because if you didn't pay, I, I don't know. That was weird to me. That was weird to me. But, like, look what the, the Vikings got Aaron Jones for versus what Josh Jacobs got. Like, that is insane to me. Like, that's insane. So, Sam Darnold on the Vikings. Like, I don't know if that's really people keep saying they're supposed to die. Like, that's supposed to be their quarterback. What the fuck ever. What the fuck ever. <laughs> Fine. Let's see. And Drew Van Ginkle, though. I really, really, really like that. I really like Jonathan Greenard. Let's see. Let's see. I like getting Aaron Jones for that cheap. I really, really do. Shaquille Griffin I like as well. Like, not as much these days, but I do. I do think he still has some good ball left in him. Um, I like Jod Ward. Just his attitude. I like his attitude. Like, for a locker room kind of presence guy. And Blake Cashman's cool, but I don't know too, too much about him. Um, now let's get to it. Let's get to it, yes sir. Kirk Cousins, I don't know how his agent does it, but God bless that motherfucker. Like, he better hug his agent and hold on, doom tight. He better hold on, doom tight, alright? So, I'm just like, wow. Because that's a fucking contract for a 30-plus-year-old coming off of an ACL, I think it was. Whatever the fuck it was, it was not light. So, god damn, that's a lot of money. That is a lot. And everybody's like, it makes them immediate contenders. I think Kirk Cousins is a great regular season quarterback. And I think that's where it ends. But Darnell Mooney on there as well. I really like that. Rondale Moore, I like that. You got two quarterbacks. Or quarterbacks. You have two wide receivers who can burn people now. So, I love that a lot. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm pretty sure Ray Ray McLeod can run as well. So, looks like they're going for speed. Looks like they're going for speed. Contavious Street. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just don't like. I like it. They're probably having the best off season, but because of Kirk Cousins, I guess like best quarterback in the division. So I guess. But let's get into the Panthers, who got Deontay Johnson, which is only going to be good if they can control Deontay Johnson, who seems just a lot to deal with. So. <laughs> Seems a lot to do. <laughs> David Moore, okay, let's see. Not too, too much. Not, I'm not seeing too, too much. It was just that one thing with Deontay Johnson. What happened, though, with... Didn't they make a trade with somebody with the Giants? Didn't they? Who did they trade for? Who did they trade for with the Giants? Oh, my God. Cause there's no way. Let me see. Didn't they trade basically Brian Burns for somebody straight up? Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Oh no. They just gave Brian Burns away for the pigs. Oh no. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep going. Yeah, it sucks for Panthers fans right now. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, the Saints signed Nathan Peterman, which immediately made me want 
to jump off a cliff. All right. I feel like I just need to get that out first. That's the first thing I need to get out that made me want to jump off a cliff. When I saw that, I was like, Phew, like immediately. So we got Mr. O and five and one half. He threw five, right? And one half. Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure. <laughs> just thank you. That's if he ever sees the light of day on the field, I'm done. I already might be done as a Saints fan, but I'm not going to get into that until the season starts. But Chase Young, I love it. I love Chase Young. Yes. I know a lot of people are like, oh, he had a down year. He doesn't try. Oh, the 49ers said. I don't care. He's young. He's he's fresh. He won defensive player of the year just a few years ago. Like, I'm not. That dog is in there somewhere, and we're going to find it. God damn it. And I think uh, Demario Davis is the perfect person to bring that out. And I think uh, Cam Jordan is the perfect person to bring that out as well. Our defense has a whole lot of dogs on them. So, I like Jonathan Abram. Big hitter, young, big hitter. Still got a lot left to prove. Tyron Matthew, I just like it. He likes playing at home, so I'm cool with that. Willie Gay, I like that. Gives us a lot of, um, it gives us a lot of experience to go along with Demario Davis. So now we have a Super Bowl winning champion and a top of the game linebacker. So our linebacker core is stronger than ever. So I like that a lot. Let's see what we do in the draft. I work. We lost Michael Thomas. Okay, if we trade away Marshawn Lattimore and we let go of Alvin Kamara or trade him, I am done as a Saints fan. You heard it right here. I'm done. I'm done because I believe in believing in your team as long as they believe in themselves. I'm not fighting for a loser, all right? I believe in loyalty. So if I'm loyal to a team, you got to be loyal to me. So if I'm loyal and I'm rooting for you to win, you got to be making moves to win and not bullshit like signing Nathan Peterman and letting... Marshawn Lattimore trade rumors percolate. All right, all right, cool. Baker Mayfield back with the Bucks, who sneakily might be the best quarterback in the division. That's what I believe. I think Baker Mayfield is the best quarterback in the division right now. Um, let's see. Mike Evans coming back. That's huge, which is why we need Marshawn Lattimore back. Levante David is huge. Jordan Whitehead, I love it. And on Winfield, okay, they're keeping him for right now, as it seems. And okay, like I, I like what the Bucks got into. <laughs> the Cardinals, Desmond Ritter, I guess. That uh, Kyler Murray, Kyler Murray, Kyler Murray quarterback room, I kind of like it. DJ Dallas, don't know too much about him. Let's see. Yeah, not too, not too hip on most of these people. Mac Wilson, I do like though. I really do like Mac Wilson. Sean Murphy, Bunting, I like as well. So. Not terrible for the Cardinals, but they were in every game last year. So let's see what they do with a full season of Kyler, hopefully. The Rams, Jimmy Garoppolo, sure. Him and Matt Stafford, I can see it in the same I like quarterbacks that fit in the same room because then you can actually learn something. You know what I mean? There's actually something coming from it. Uh, Jonah Jackson, love it. How about Matt Stafford? Demarcus Robinson is sneakily good, so I'm cool with that. He just can't be your number one. Love Cam Curl, heavy hitter, love it. Um, that's all I got for the Rams, the 49ers. Let's see, the list is a little bit long. Josh Dobbs, I like that a lot. Um, Chris Conley, okay. Leonard Floyd, all right. Not too, too much, not too, too, too much. I like Isaac Yedem, too. He was like our third string at some points, fourth string at some points. He had to, when people got injured, like he started playing second. A couple games first, I think, when Marshawn was injured, and he, like, handled his business. Like, so, yeah, he got targeted a little bit, but he's still, like, if as long as he's not your number one option, you're good. I think, like, the Andre Campbell, too, like Devontae Campbell for the 49ers. Anyway, and you heard Gross Matos probably pronounced his first name wrong. Apologies. Let's see. Seahawks, Sam Howe, okay, um, I like it, I like it, I'm not mad at it, you didn't have to give up a lot, cool, let's see, no offense, I love no offense, I really do, I'm dead serious, I like speed, I'm trying to tell you guys, so, Leonard Williams, like that as well, Jonathan Hankins, like that, okay, like what the Seahawks got into, and I think that is it for the recap, which, golly, that took way longer than I thought, but there are some good signings out there. I think in my professional opinion, that's not professional. What the fuck ever. I'm giving it to the Eagles. The Eagles, I think, had the best free agency because there's not a hole they didn't fill. Like, they hit every need. I was just like, wow. Like, wow. Like, you took care of your quarterbacks. So if Jalen Hurts go 
care of your running back position. You got a wide receiver in there now that can go in with Devontae Smith and with uh, AJ Brown. So you got that taken care of. You have a fast ass tight end in case Dallas Goddard goes out. So you have that. Like you got defense. CJ Gardner's back. Like Jesus, bro. Jesus, they did their thing. So I would say the Eagles, and then I would say the Steelers have had the best free agency after that. And other than that, I'm not really, I, definitely the Texans. So Eagles, Steelers, Texans, I believe, are my three teams that I'm like, okay. And then Browns. Yeah, there's a few teams, yeah, and then the Bengals, yeah, if we're ranking it just like that. And then probably the Ravens, like, wait, that's like there's, if we were to rank it, and maybe I should have done like a ranking thing, but at this point, the video's been going on for so long that we're already in it. So, what we're going to do is real quick jump over to the remaining free agents and see where people should go. Or wait, no, 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 maybe I'll save that for another video. <laughs> maybe I'll save, let me check how much time is on this video already before we're here for like an hour. <laughs> Man, let's get back. I'm not gonna lie to you, I did not expect that video to take that long, but I just got rambling about some people that I just really like, that there are a couple players I just happen to like that are in the NFL that I'm like, wow, these teams really did make some solid moves, and there are a lot of teams that made solid moves and signed a lot of rivals, so there should be a lot of passionate and hard-hitting games next season in the NFL, but with that being said, I am going to stop the video here just because I don't want this to become like an hour long video. That's just way too much. So I will jump back in with another update for NFL free agency or just maybe we'll look at the remaining free agents because there are a lot of people that I don't understand how they haven't been signed yet. Like Michael Thomas to the Chiefs makes way too much sense, especially now that you have Hollywood Brown. It makes way too much sense. But we will get into that at a later date for now i will leave you with this man look life is as great as you make it and you can only react to other people's actions but you get to choose how you do so how other people make you feel you directly get to choose it is that simple so you can only allow somebody to piss you off if you allow them to piss you off, that is it. I don't know where the fuck that just came from, but we're gonna rock with that, man. Y'all be safe until next time. I'll see y'all sooner than you.